Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my channel members for their ongoing support. If you would like your name to appear on screen, then you can click on the membership link that will be in the description down below. I have two tiers, one for shout outs and a second tier where you will get weekly members only content. This content will be catch up live streams, members only reactions, or sometimes I will do a pre recorded chatty get ready with me video where I update you on life stuffs. There is also, of course, the custom emojis and the cute animal badges next to your name. Of course, you just watching this video is already much appreciated, but if you wish to support the channel further, you can do so by subscribing, commenting, liking, sending super thanks, and of course, joining the membership. And now let's get into the video. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ilona. I'm also known as Shikara Transformations. I'm an online health fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder. <laughs> uh, if you're curious to see what that's all about, then check it out. At the time of filming this, I am six days out from my first show. Well, my second show of this year, but my first show of me competing in a different category. But I will be competing in figure and maybe also physique. But I'm six weeks out from my main show. It's a lot. Check the vlogs out. If you're interested in an eight-week training plan, you can do that too. It comes with uh, training phases and I give you nutritional guidance in terms of like a, a semi-bespoke nutrition plan based on your goals. But there is no check-ins or anything like that. It's just you purchase it. It's quite cheap though. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people have used it and they've enjoyed it. So um, email me on the email that is in the description. In terms of coaching, I am pretty much at capacity um, mentally. <laughs> so I until after my show, I'm not going to take on any more people. And if people go, I'm just not replacing them for now. Just because any downtime I can have is much needed. Hence the... The afternoon, zero calorie, a monster energy. Because we are in those stages of the prep. On a plus note, my coach is giving me a bit more carbs. So, yay to that. Anyway, today we're going to look at some test holiday. Because I haven't looked at it for a while. And I figured I want to look at some TikToks, basically. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, let me just coach over. See what she has to say. It's been a while since I did, uh, it's been a while since I did uh, tests couple of months I feel like so yeah let's see what um, what she has to say let's begin from the beginning imagine the day they see you again and you are just well better imagine that oh I remember when I had hair like that if you're a true OG you will remember there was a phase it was actually last year and here we go even you can see it here I had a phase where I had uh, the ginger hair with the blonde streak see if I can find it quite liked it actually kind of miss being a redhead too redheads are cool but so much work to, so much work to maintain here we go this is when where I had the the little blonde moment this is crazy so this was five weeks out last year I'm so much leaner than that now and I'm six weeks out now insanity this one I used to go to the shelter. Oh, anyway. I mean, that's just being a ginger. She looks very nice. She's a very, she is a beautiful woman. I am home sick today. So I've just been like on TikTok more scrolling than I usually. I never look at TikTok unless I'm doing a reaction or I'm using it to edit a video for, uh, for, the, for a short, for a reel, for a TikTok. I never use TikTok otherwise. I don't know. It's my mind for a new page. It's really annoying. It, it's all these like these guys dancing or these Bulgarian things of people like doing Bulgarian lip syncs, and I don't I don't know why because I don't like it. But I'm... it just seems to be my recommended, which is weird. So I've just been like on TikTok more scrolling than I usually would, and I feel like there are so many like weight loss and like ads popping up it's called they're trying to tell you something tess they're trying to tell you that you need to lose some weight obviously as a fatty that's not really like on my search thingy you know 
but but you should like i look up meal prepping because i you know my eating disorder i like to mm. i wonder how all of these new regulations are gonna impact her and her anorexia feel like i'm somewhat in control of that you know but i just saw something for shoulder slimming like getting botox to have your shoulders slim what like i've never heard of that can you have botox in your shoulders <coughs> i suppose you can have botox anywhere but in your shoulders is that where we're at as a society that <laughs> that is kind of ridiculous i'm with her on that like i don't think i've ever looked at somebody and thought darn <laughs> And <laughs> she, they have, <laughs> they have fat shoulders. I mean, I do, I do look at people's shoulders. Some people just, you can tell around their shoulders whether they lose weight or not. But to have like a fat loss work done on your shoulder is unusual. Normally people do it on like their glutes or their uh, stomach, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I genuinely think that um, six pound, five ounce baby Jesus made me fat <laughs> because I could have I could have never existed in a world where um, I need Botox for my fat. <laughs> <laughs> or, or hear me out. You go fuck yourself, and I keep doing what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> That's, I wouldn't necessarily say that that's a, a horoscope thing. That's a I'm over 30 years old thing. <laughs> I really am not about the going out late at all. Around 9, 10 o'clock, it's bedtime for me. Sometimes I'll stay up till a bit later on a rare occasion. And usually I'm tired for the next two days. But yeah, no. We go to bed early, don't we, Rose? Hey, Rose. We go to bed early, don't we? Yes, big ears. We're in bed by eight, nine, by nine o'clock. Yes. Yeah, Rosie. Rosie's always asleep. Why don't I mean, you miss us? Yes. <laughs> or. Babe, babe, you're not ugly. No, you're not. You just need to put on a little bit of makeup. Relatable. <laughs> I mean. I definitely sure as shit look a lot better without makeup than I do with with makeup than I do without. Little lipstick. Little bronzer if you want. I don't know. Curl the lashes. And then take some hot pics. But don't send them to a man. They don't deserve them. Love you. I just wanted to share something that I like to do is when white men are walking up to my car, I like to lock my door and make sure that they can hear it. I just wanted to share something that I like to do is when white men are walking up to my car, I like to lock my door and make sure that they can hear it. But why only white men though? Like in general, you should be careful of people walking up to your car, maybe, I don't know. We are I mean, that that is a pretty fierce makeup look to be fair. That's a really nice makeup look. I like Who that are a lot. you? <laughs> what are I would never these always lie. Let's see. Let's see what it has to say. Reminder that women definitely dress for other women. Like, for example, I had to go to the dealership today. I pull up and the girl that helped me, absolutely stunning. My car was supposed to be ready. Um like 20 minutes ago and she calls me and says hey i'm so sorry but we need your car for at least another hour honestly i was elated because i had just finished dropping off my boys at school and i was in pajama mode which is obviously fine because i had showed up that way but then i realized i had an opportunity to just put on like a quick little quick little 
she she dresses well for her size. She's just, it's like it's shocking to see her size. It's just shocking to see her in full size because she's, she's basically got a small face. <laughs> like her looking cute made me want to look cute. So now I'm at the dealership waiting <laughs> for my car. Did he say it was because I'm obese? No. <laughs> you know what? I don't think we need to replace you. Like, I just gotta snap it back into place. Okay, girl. Yeah, awesome. That's good, yeah. You're yeah, amazing. Like, oh, good, good, good. Oh okay. my gosh, thank you. Yeah, no I just love girls. I love us. Uh, I, I wonder what's wrong with it and what made her say, is it because I'm obese? It was like once. <laughs> Did you fuck this as <laughs> Did she like fuck the suspension up on the, the side of the car that she sits <laughs> in a fucking Range Rover or like no in a, a, a G wagon? <laughs> Dude, like for real though, like for real though, if she fucked up the suspension on the driver's side in a G wagon, you really have to reconsider like you, your size. If you start breaking car suspensions. You really do need to start reconsidering a diet. For like, for real, for real. I'd laugh about it, but actually it's not funny. Just be kind to me one time, TikTok. That's all I ask. Uh, I mean, let's try it again. Just that's a bit weird. Just for us. I wouldn't want somebody for me to think that I'm 17. Giggles. Just be- 27. People normally in real life, People usually think that I'm like 32, 20, 29, 29 to 32. That's my, normally what people think that I am. Especially when I don't wear makeup, I get, uh, uh, people think that I'm a lot younger than I am. I want to thank all of you that took time to comment on this post and send me love and share your experiences and your stories. I'm sending all of you guys love. The reason. I want to thank all of you that took time to comment on this post and send me love and I haven't seen the post so I guess we'll get to that because we're working from chronological English from start backwards we don't work the other way around share your experiences and your stories I'm sending all of you guys love the reason I'm choosing to respond to this particular comment about me being the first person that you saw and one of the first um, folks in kind of my line to do what I am still fortunate enough to do. This time of year when Fashion Week approaches is always incredibly hard for my mental health because not only do I have all of the other family stuff that I just lightly mentioned in the video, but it's also the career stuff. You know, and I wonder sometimes like, how much of it is that the industry isn't quite as um, genuine as the the fashion industry, fashion weeks. I mean, the reality is clothes just don't look as good as that people. That's just it. Clothes, fashion clothes don't look good on me either. It doesn't suit my body type. I, I have to be very particular about what kind of clothes that I buy, especially if I want to wear dresses and stuff like that. There's certain cuts, like anything that's like a, a cut to the shoulders here, because I have such wide shoulders, I, I can't wear it. It just makes me look too fucking hench. There's certain, I need to, I need to start, like, there is a way of dressing to your size. And as a muscular woman, that also applies. And the reality is, is that fashion clothes, unfortunately, just look good on skinny people. Like, that's just how it is. When you see somebody her size, like, like, uh, hurpling down the runway, it's just, not, it doesn't look as appealing. If I was to go stomping down a highway, did I say highway? A catwalk. <laughs> oh, prep brain. If you see somebody like me fucking stomping down a catwalk, it won't be the same either. Like, yeah, I can, I can... I have some sass and I can walk in heels and I can present myself with all of that, but it ain't gonna be the same as somebody that's like just slender. That's just the reality of it. Clothes just look better on slender people on a catwalk. It is what it is. Um, unfortunately, that's just the way of things, you know. The same as like with bodybuilding, certain aesthetics just look better on stage than other aesthetics. It's 
that's just how it is. It's, I hoped. I really do feel like being in my line of work, especially um, being visibly fat in an industry that still um, doesn't accept support or validate folks that exist in larger bodies, is like being in an abuse. I mean, it does get validated. But yeah, you know, it's high fashion is high fashion for a reason. It's not meant to be catered to everybody. It's meant to be catered to the few and to the very rich. Basically, it excludes like a giant part of the population. Fat, poor, muscular, you know, most, basically most people. It's high fashion. It's, and it, a lot of it is not even meant to be seen as like clothing to be worn. It's art. Like it's just, you know, just creative ideas. Because some of it is, uh, well, just because from what I'm, I want to thank all of you that from my understand, yeah. uh, and as someone that's been, from my understanding, it's basically a lot of it is just art. It's just um, designers creating their, expressing their creativity. I know that some of it is like upcoming, uh, like what's it called, like uh, fall lines or you know the, um, the the future trends and all of that. But I don't like what you see on the catwalk. Never actually does it actually. Does some of it actually get put in shops? I don't think it does, right? It's just more like concepts, a lot of it, right? Like prototypes. Or am I wrong? Or does some of it go? Oh, I don't actually know. And an abusive I'm not really that into fashion, as you can tell. I kind of buy what I like, and that's it. Relationship. I can tell you that it sucks. Hear me out. What if us plus size babes saw ourselves represented in everyday life as the style icons we are instead of being separated in different fashion categories? This is the start of a more inclusive Pinterest and I am absolutely thrilled that I helped build the new update. You will see bodies that look like yours. You will see style and trends and all of the things on plus size bodies like... I don't think that that is necessarily a bad thing. I don't think that just because you're obese or overweight that uh, well, obese really like overweight you can buy you can buy normal clothes. But I even I I think you should try and do something about it. You should want to try and be healthy. You should want to try and lose weight, of course. But that doesn't mean that you have to dress horribly and that you know you can't make an effort into looking nice if that's what you're into. If you're interested in fashion, but also the reality is it's just going to be very difficult to find clothes on it that fits you. So. But I think it is not, not necessarily a bad idea because I do think that sometimes, you know, a lot of people get to a certain size and like maybe being able to dress better and feel more confident will help them be more proactive in doing other things in their life that can have a positive impact on their mental health. Therefore, they're more likely to work on their physical health, you know, like yours. You see it, right? This is exactly what I want to see. Different body types, different skin tones, absolutely serving right in front of us, giving us the inspo we need, making us... But it shouldn't also be only like obese people because that's not right either. Let's feel seen. Pinterest looks like me. <laughs> I'm too old for us to have been friends for 10 years and then drift away. Yeah. You're going to tell me... The minute I saw this pop up on my For You page, I had to say something. I'm currently experiencing this right now, at least I think, but every time I go to this person or try to express it, I'm told that I am too needy emotionally. I bet she's really needy as a friend. She comes across as really high maintenance. For me, like, a friendship is like, I'm at the age where people live their lives, right? You know, like, I'm quite happy. I can, like, there's, there's some friends of mine that I don't talk to for years. Or I talk to maybe once or twice a year and I'm okay with that. I know they're busy. They know I'm busy. It's like I've been trying to meet up with Velika. <laughs> like, I've been trying to meet up with Velika for a couple of weeks and it just doesn't happen. I'm tired, she's tired, I'm working, she's working. It's okay. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But if we need, if we really need each other, we're there for each other. And that's all that matters. Um, and that's what a true friendship is all about. Like... A friendship i can imagine her being that kind of friend that needs all the time but like if you need her she she ain't there for you that's just an assumption but that's, that's that is my assumption but i think you get to a certain age where an adult is just like yeah okay it's being friends is nice but at the same time i've got shit to do a lot of shit to do and i'm tired and i'm old <laughs> so you know can we send a text message we'll, we'll have a coffee at some point
that they shouldn't have to reassure me. And I realized that I don't really hear from them unless I reach out and I make plans. And as someone that- But if you feel like that that is the case and you're unhappy about it, then don't have that relationship. Like there has been friendships where it was like that for me. And I just kind of, I, at one point, decided that no, I don't want to have a friendship like that. If I feel like it's too one-sided, then okay, well then fucking end it. Some people come and go in your life and that's okay. Some people you've known for 10 years, 20 years and their relationships end. Some people you'll only know for a few years and that's okay. Like people come and go in your life and that's it. You know, just accept that that is um, just a matter of fact, a part of a life and some people just grow apart, especially if you start changing lifestyles. I can assure you anybody that has lived like a lifestyle of partying or something like that and that goes into a healthy lifestyle, you will lose a lot of friends because the people because the people you were hanging out with before that are into the partying, the drinking, the unhealthy eating and all of that, they're not going to be interested in spending time with you when you are doing your healthy shit. And you have to just be okay with that. Anytime you have a lifestyle change for better, for worse, for whatever it may be, um, you're going to lose people. And that's just how it is. And people grow apart, people have kids, people meet different partners, people move to different countries. And some friendships are okay not ha having to talk on a regular basis and other friendships are not like that and it's fine it's okay so just accept it and move on like just, you know that's, that's, there's nothing you can do about it just wants to be loved and and i'm dealing with that don't get me wrong i was taking that as like okay i need to like work hard for this relationship or, or there's something that i'm not doing enough of but going back home last month, back to Mississippi, snapped me out of it. Being around certain people in my family that haven't healed any of their trauma. And if you're watching this, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I noticed that how I behaved around them was... I was right, my balcony door is open and I can't have her on there barking. I needed to, you know, go take them wherever they want to eat you know accommodate their every wish and desire even though it was things that i didn't feel comfortable with or it was oh, i was overextending myself and i thought damn this is what i do with this particular friendship and, and my friendships in general i overextend myself i really don't like this uh like look i am also like that if i care for somebody or if i start seeing somebody i am very i'm a very giving person uh, but I never hold that against somebody because I choose to do that in that moment. So if I'm a friend with somebody, if you're my friend, like I'm happy to, if we go out for dinner to pay, I will, if, you, if it's your birthday, like, oh, well, I don't mind buying somebody expensive gifts. If I'm dating you, I'll cook for you, I'll clean for you. I buy you gifts. I'm very much, I am that kind of person. Like I like to gift give and I like to cook for people and I like to invest my time that way into people. But if that ends, I would never hold that against somebody. I would never go like, oh, well, you know, I spent this kind of money on you for your birthday. Or, well, I did this for you for you then. Or, well, for this, I spent this kind of money. Because I chose to do that in that moment. And nobody forced me to do this but myself. So you can't hold that against somebody and be like, oh, well, you know, I'm making all of this effort. Yeah, but you're choosing to make that effort, though. You're choosing to pay for things. You're choosing to be a giving person because that's in your character. And maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's not a good thing. If you don't feel happy about it, then maybe that's something you need to learn. And moving forward into the next relationship, friendship or romantic, don't do that. But for the most part, if you're a giving person, you can't hold that against other people. You can't hold that against other people because that's a choice you're making, right? Let me just put my phone on mute. Expecting a phone call earlier. And normally my phone's always on mute, but not now. So yeah, I just don't think that's fair to hold that against other people. If you are put, if you're putting in the effort, but at the time you don't mind doing it, then you can't be like a year later be like, oh well, I did all of this for you. It's like, well, I didn't, I didn't ask you to do that, or they didn't ask you to do that. So then I'm mad at the other person for like taking advantage of me and my kindness and X Y Z. So if they're not taking advantage, you're giving it. Like, I mean, some people might take advantage of it, but I think at, a lot of the time people do things because they want to do that. 
Like I'm, I, I, I catch myself like I, I'm kind of starting to see somebody now, and I catch like I'm baking them, them a fucking oat bake now. Why? Because I made it the other day, and he liked it. And guess what? I'm gonna make it because I know he's gonna like it. Because I'm that kind of person. I can't then if it doesn't work out, be like three weeks later, be like, well, he he took advantage of me and he ate my oat oat bakes and he told me that they were nice. So now I'm gonna hold it against it. No, I do it because I want to do it. You know. So, and should I probably not? But then I can't help myself. I just like doing these kind of things. If I like somebody, I like I don't know. I like to feed you. I'm a feeder. I like to cook for people. And if I'm with my friends and if I'm in a relationship, I'm a gift giver. I like to do things. It's just my love language. I don't know. But I'm not, I would never hold that against somebody because I'm choosing to do it. Nobody's forcing me to do that. Yeah, I mean, it would be really nice if friends would communicate and say, you know, hey, this is why it's not working. This is what I'm unhappy with. Let's work on it. And I can honestly say that um, my closest friends do. And we communicate that. My partner and I have great communication like phenomenal like the best communication and it's so validating i'm not saying i'm faultless but like communication to me is now the hottest thing about a person and having someone on the other side of that meet you where you're at and be also to be also able to say like hey i'm that didn't make me feel good or i felt a way about that let's work through it shout out to my friend rainbow for doing that with me so many times. I love you so much. So if you're in a similar predicament or you're experiencing this, you might not ever get the explanation. Stop doing all the work. Like you Well, that's a fair point as well. If you feel like you're putting in all the effort, then maybe stop doing the effort and see what what comes from it. That's you know, when I was single for a while, that's what I did. I just stopped making an effort and the second I did I noticed that conversations were actually very one sided. And it was basically me making the effort. So now you know, if a conversation I'm seeing somebody now, but like when the conversation died down, okay, I didn't make an effort anymore. Because I, I noticed that as a fault in myself, if you're in a situation like that with dating or with a friendship, stop making the effort and see what effort comes return comes in return. Are you willing to make the effort? Then if you're willing to make the effort, don't complain about it. But if you're not willing to make the effort, then you know enough. They're not interested or they're not putting in the effort that you expect, that you desire in return. So then it's a relationship that's not going to work. End it. You don't have to say it. Just move on with your life. Who are lovable just as you are you don't have to jump through hoops and do all these extra things you can just show up as you and people are gonna love you like uh they're gonna make plans with you it's so nice don't chase attract right so i'm gonna go uh, we didn't really do any fat acceptance stuff because as well the tiktoks weren't about that but i think it was a nice change of scenery though to talk about something other than just fitness and health all the time Relationships are important too. I'm a, I'm a wise woman. <laughs> I'm not really, but uh, yeah. Maybe it helps somebody, who knows. <laughs> On that note, I'm gonna go because I can smell my oat bake and I don't want it to burn. And I need to walk my little troubles as well. Yes. Who has the biggest ears? Sorry, my, my, her dog bed is in the middle because I was helping a girl posing earlier. You see? I like doing stuff like that. I just like to help people. A friend of mine reached out from the gym. He's like, can you help this girl posing? And I'm he's like, how much do you charge? I'm like, don't worry, I'll help her pose. And I just help her with the posing. And she's a nice girl. So I'll probably train with her here and there. Help her with the posing. And just make sure that she's eating enough. Because girls here in Bulgaria like to starve themselves for bodybuilding. And I don't like it. I like to feed my women. And I like to make them strong. Anyway, I'm going to go. Insert A. A pie emoji. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you disliked it. Let me know down below why. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.